So the weekend of Camp Quirky is finally here at last. We've all been so excited and looking forward to this. We're just on our way up. It's the Thursday, so we're actually going up a day early, but that's just so that we can get the Sprinter van in a nice location so all you guys can come and have a look at it. We've got our good friends David and Fiona behind us. We're going up in convoy and we're really looking forward to meeting everybody there. It's going to be a fantastic weekend. There's close to 2,000 people going to be there, so it's going to be absolutely huge. And there's going to be so many of your vans to have a look at. You know, I don't know how we're going to fit it all into one weekend, but it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So we're really looking forward to it. So I'll catch up with you again as soon as we get there. Just a few minutes before the camp opens to the public, so I thought I'd give you a quick scan around of the main arena, some of the vendors and workshop areas here. And this little tent here as well will be holding our workshops on Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be an excellent festival. Really looking forward to it. There's so many people here, it's going to be fantastic. Quite a wide selection of food available at the festival this year as well, much more than there was previously, but obviously it's a lot bigger this year as well. Just look at all these vans guys, can't believe how many people are parked up here waiting to come in. I think I can spot Dave's van down there actually, that black VW Crafter with the roof rack. I'm going to go down and check out, see if he's here.
<laughs> Celebrity moment, Louis. <laughs> Meeting you for the first time, Paul. Paul? No? <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Lou. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. On the leg. He's, he's, not, he's not starstruck at all, is he? There we go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> There's rust on Greg, Greg's van. Greg, <gasps> Greg, I need to have a word with you. What's going on here, look? Maintenance day required. That's that's just neglect. Oh. Total neglect that, Greg. What's going on here? Maintenance oh, the other day. side of YouTube. The other bit of YouTube you don't see, Greg. Uh. What's this? What's this? Right, guys, so we found in the parking lot here, I've come across my good friend Hugh from YouTube. He's obviously another YouTuber that's done several van conversions and uh, I've been following his channel for ages I'm an avid fan of his it's really worth a look uh, very interesting content that he puts out one of the ones that I was really interested in was he did a small uh, little combi van and he'd done it on a really really tight budget so those of you guys who are looking to get into van life really cheaply I highly recommend you check out his channel on that um, but obviously you've built this van previously and then now it's you've stripped before. it back to yeah. the bare shell and now you're rebuilding it. So yeah. just okay. just kind of give us a flavor of where, where are you gonna go with this? You got much to do on this now? I've still got, there's still a lot of rough edges you might pick out. If you see it in flesh, you might see a few rough edges. But yeah, like we went it's sort of 90% the there, isn't 90 it? 90% there. I don't think it ever finishes, it never finishes. Yeah, but sure. Yeah, I went from the transit custom to this and I really wanted to try out a really spacious, luxurious like, lounge set up, but it didn't really work as a conventional, like long-term spending any real time abroad sort okay. of conversion. Yeah, so, yeah. We moved to this setup and now the I think, layout's a lot better. You've got a lot more living bit, space at the front. Living end. space and like, yeah. you know, comfort and better insulation sure. and just everything works. I was really interested when you stripped your van down. Yeah. Because obviously you took everything out yeah. and it was completely bone dry inside. That was it? yeah, I was really yeah. Uh, that was that was great. So that's, that's just that's, confirmation well, about the vapor that's, barrier. That's yeah, that's help from you. That's help yeah. from you. So yeah. yeah. And then what are your sort of plans for the future tra well, uh, traveling or another van build or definitely gonna get a few travels in with this van obviously because we've got to experience it now we built it. But I've got a fire engine engine oh, wow. that what? someone's getting rid of, an old Dennis fire engine, and um, I want to look at converting that into like a cool conversion slash Airbnb maybe. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. on a hard standing and they want to get rid of it. Yeah. So I thought that'd be a really cool thing to try. And then one other thing that I want to mention as well, because you've rented a business unit, haven't you, that you're going to be yeah. doing van conversions in, Dude. or it's a workspace that people could come along. Potentially in the future, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. got a new workshop and yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to iron out the details and once I've got a solid sort of, you know, money flow income yeah, sure, to sure. keep it going, then I'm going to open but it then up. then it'll for be like a little bit of a community thing yeah. where people could come along 100%. and you could just help each other build. Yeah, and you don't even have to bring the van. If you just yeah. want to come down and build a unit, a furniture right. unit, that's what I hope that you can do. Oh, that's just, fantastic. Yeah. yeah, just a cool space for everyone to just be It's creative. been an absolute pleasure meeting you in person. Been an avid fan yeah, yeah. and I highly recommend go and check out Hugh's channel. I'll put all the links in the description. Uh, you know, he does some brilliant content. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers, guys. Just before we get into the talk, I just want to have a little bit of a show of hands just to get a feel of where everybody's at with their vans because I guess there's a lot of people here. Let's have a show of hands who's completed their van. Okay, not as many as I thought, right. Mm -hmm. And then if you're just starting a van or haven't bought a van yet. <laughs> so you're at the right place. That's, that, that's perfect because those those are the guys that I really want to talk to because this information for you is key because obviously uh, it's one of the first things that you do in your van and it's probably one of the most important. These curved lines that we see here, these red curved lines, this is relative humidity. So when you see the weather forecast and they say it's 70% RH, 70% relative humidity. This is the amount of moisture that's in the air. And there was a product available, and it's been available for years, but it's only really been available to the industry. And that's these stick pins. And 
Insulation contractors use these to put insulation on ductwork for large air conditioning systems. Yeah, so this is what you need to do, guys. What is that? Anything you want out of my van, yeah. I've done your little shopping list. No way, that's brilliant! So if you want anything that's in my van, all you got to do is click on the John gets a lesson. Oh, wow. Well, Greg, I can't see your mum on there. We all want your mum. <laughs> <laughs> gadget Greg. He's Gadget John. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Are there any more childhood stories about Greg? <laughs> <laughs> or are they for later? Bring wine. <laughs> So guys, I'm here with the Explorer Buddies, Scott and Ellie. I've been a huge fan of your channel right from the beginning. Uh, you put out some amazing content and you've got uh, what I consider to be like a classic camper van. And can you tell us a little bit about it, Scott? Yeah, so it's a 1990 Fiat Ducato, which is 
kind of based around a Tolbo Express, that's what most people would recognise it as. And it's a coach built, which we ripped out the interior and basically renovated it. And um, yeah, we just use it, we sort of use it on the weekends and long trips and stuff. We don't live in it full time. So you, you've done all of the carpentry yourself inside? And yeah, and Ellie's yeah. done all the pretty stuff. <laughs> yeah, Scott did all the woodwork, all the hand tool stuff, right. and then I've done all of the textiles, all of the finishing, yeah, painting. Yeah, just give it all the character. Making it pretty, making it cosy yeah. home from home. Yeah. So I've got some stills and some video footage that we've taken inside the van, so I'll show you those. It's really beautiful inside. They've done an absolutely cracking job of it. And these guys, generally, you've been holidaying in the UK, haven't you, in uh, Northern Wales and Scotland? Yeah. And that was what drew me to your channel initially, because you're both what I consider your professional filmmakers, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. And, and some of the footage that you put out, is, and, the, and the work and the effort that you put into just taking the sort of five minutes of footage from all different camera angles, it just makes your video so professional and so well, slick. Filmmaking yeah. is a passion for us, yeah. so yeah, we really enjoy the whole creative process. Uh, and you're so. both studying uh, filmmaking, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we are. So by going to university, studying film and media, has, that's been great. It's given us the freedom to learn more about filmmaking and have the time to really get into making our own films for, the, for our channel. To, I'm having to sort of fumble along, but you guys are, are doing it really professionally. And, and it definitely shows in your videos. Thank uh, you. you know, and that's what keeps me coming back. So if you're looking for some really stunning videos of Northern Wales and Scotland, please check these guys' channel out because they're absolutely amazing. Um, I'll put all the links in the description below. So please have a look at these guys' channel. It's really, really good. Yeah, well, it's been lovely meeting you this weekend. You've yeah. been such a lovely supporter yeah. on our channel. And we really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I, we were one of the people that I wanted to come and say hello to and make sure that we sort of caught up. We caught you briefly last year at Camp yeah, Quirky, yeah. and I was saying to Lou, yeah, we must go and see him this year. So. Yeah, you got there just at the last minute. It's been <laughs> such a busy weekend, oh, it hasn't has, it? Yeah. yeah. It's grown massively, isn't it? I know, yeah. and it's such a community spirit, and it is definitely about helping each other, you know, uh, everybody build each other's channels and kind of you know, supporting each other, you know. I guess it's been nice for you guys to meet your viewers as well. Yeah, have definitely. Have you had lots of people come along that say they follow you? On yeah, 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 yeah. It's been really lovely and really surreal at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So everybody coming up, they're recognising you. I know, uh, but everybody's been really warm and friendly. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't have asked for more, so. Yeah. We, we were saying, like, it's just like having a, a camp with all your best friends around I you. I know, it's yeah. crazy, isn't it? Yeah, there's such a great vibe for this whole... The yeah. Whole festival. Yeah, it's going really well. So, what are your sort of plans? What's coming up next on your channel, or what can we look forward to? Well, we're off to Europe in the um, in July for th uh, three weeks and four days. So, Excellent. we're going to go down, um, check out the Italian lakes. Um, Brilliant. That's the so Alps. beautiful around there. Yeah, yeah. the Alps. Yeah. Region, so first time she's been abroad with us, so oh, that'll be exciting. Be a learning curve, I'm yeah. sure everything will go fine. Well, from our first adventures into Europe, we found it so free and easy. Oh. There's so many places that you can camp, um, there's minimal parking restrictions, and there's so many places where they've got free services. So, yeah, yeah you'll have a blast, I'm sure. Good. And hopefully, the weather will be like, oh, yeah, this. of course, yeah, <laughs> yeah fingers crossed. Imagine that every so, day. Yeah, yeah, we can all look forward to some epic footage, yeah. hopefully, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. watch this space. Excellent. Um, well, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you both. Thanks, and you. And all the best on your travels. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. So here we are, guys. It's a sunny Monday morning, and it's the end of the festival. And I think everybody that has come here will agree that it's been an absolutely amazing time. I mean, it's grown enormously from when we were here last year. I think there was close to 2,000 people here, and there must have been seven or 800 vans. So if you're interested in coming here next year, just make sure that you get in early and get your tickets, because I'm sure it's going to sell out super quick. And I look forward to meeting you all next year.